Hello folks, Clyde Lindsay here at Leechburg Lights. Thanks for taking the time to check out the video today. Today's video is on X lights and today I'd like to show share with you one thing that has been added to the X lights program which is under the help feature. There is now a donate link that will directly don uh, link you to the X lights uh, donate page. Uh, I invite everyone who uh, will be using the software uh, to Please make sure you support the uh, developer, the creators, the uh, people who help uh, house and support this wonderful uh, RGB uh, LED sequencing software that uh, you, you definitely please help out and make sure that you're, you're supporting them. This is a fantastic software that is free to anyone with unlimited downloads and constant support from a massive community and I would hope that you all uh, find the value that uh, is definitely there with the X Lights program. So uh, once again, uh, let's get back into X Lights. And what we're what we want to do today is we want to build some concentric stars and we want to build some concentric wreaths uh, into our X Lights display. And uh, the reasoning for uh, doing this specific video has a lot to do with uh, uh, the X Lights support group and the file section. So um, there are things that are called, let's say, X models, and these X models are exports of a custom model that may have that was created for things such as the Boscoyo lineup of uh, uh, items and so forth. But uh, there are also models that have been uh, built uh, using Excel. For example, here's a Boscoyo Star 23 that's in an Excel spreadsheet. This is uh, helpful to some people, but some people don't have uh, Excel program to open this up. So we have, uh, the developers actually, not me, but the developers have really made it easy to go ahead and export any custom model and uh, use the custom model to import. Uh, and I have a video on this. This is right here. If you go to my YouTube page at Leechburg Lights, look for exporting and importing custom models in X Lights of 2017. This teaches you how to export and import your custom models, and thereby relieving us of having to be stuck with. And I'm, this is this is no cut on Gabe. He he's definitely being awesome by by sharing his work that he's put into it. But I, I it's it's a lot of work now that's already been pre-built into X Lights, and I want to share with you exactly how to do this um, because my previous version of this video has become uh, obsolete due to the changes in the layout screen and model building. So let's get right into it. The first thing we're going to build is we're going to do the 23-inch uh, Chroma Star. And what we need to know is two basic things about the model. We need to know how many nodes are total in the star, and we need to know how many uh, what the actual ring count is. So there's three rings, and how many nodes per ring and the total nodes of this star is actually, I don't see it right popping off uh, the screen here, but it's 90 nodes, and I've built, I have like 14 of these in my display. Uh, there's, I, and this is the node count. There's 20, 30, and 40 per ring, and I'm going to copy this because we're going to do a little shortcut, and I'll show you. So let's go in here, and we have our models. All of these are pre-designed models for x lights, and... Um, one of the things here, this is create new star. We're going to select that, and I'm going to click and drag one time, and that will create our star. Now, over here, it auto defaults to 50 pixels. I know that we have a 90 count pixel star. There's five points to it, and then the next field is our start location. Where is the first node going to be located? So there's only two locations that are given in X Lite. So if you start on the edge, the tip here, here, or here, or here, or here, what X Lite does is auto defaults to the 12 o'clock position. That would be the top. And you can either go clockwise or counterclockwise. And this is done on the face view. So if you're building the model and, and you're flipping it over to the other side and you're loading the nodes, remember you're loading it in reverse. But that's really no big deal because you can always do a node reversal by doing clockwise or counterclockwise. Just make sure that you're building all your models the same uh, on the outside for your display, and then you can copy 
and paste till your heart's content here in the layout screen, which I'll do in a moment. So once you understand where the start location is, you either start here at the top or at the one of the edge of the peaks, or you start in the middle, one of these interior points. X lights will start here at the, I want to say the crotch of the star. That would be your first node. So depending on where you start, either the outside or the inside, it doesn't matter. Just know that you have the option to start whichever side that you want, okay? So I will start with, uh, I always do mine top, center, counterclockwise, and I don't go on the outside. I usually go on the inside because I think building props from the inside out for an explosion. And uh, the star layer sizes. Now, this is where I went and I copied from X, uh, from the uh, Boscoyo site, and I'm going to go ahead and hit Control-V for paste, and I'm going to erase the word and. And now we have, after I select outside of the cell, you have the concentric star model is completely built very quickly. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the node layout so that you can have a, a basic understanding of how it works. So here's the first star. I start on the inside. And then the second layer of the star, which has, this is, so this is 20, node, node 1, string 1, so this is all string 1, and we go from node 1, string 1, to node 20, and then node 21 starts up here and continues going around in a concentric loop. Node 50 is the end, and then we go up to node 51, and then it ends at node 90 after going clockwise. So, no problem if you decided to start your first pixel on the outside, all you're going to do is you're going to reverse this order, and we go 20, whoop, or I'm sorry, 40, 30, 20, and click outside. And now that should automatically, we can right click on the uh, model and look at the node layout. And that should move your first node to the outside. So either way that you start it, you have options. You can go either clockwise or counterclockwise. So that's the first model. The second model is going to be our wreath. So let's go look at the parameters for the wreath from Boscoyo. We have uh, the, the total node count is 54 nodes, and it has three rings, and it has 18 nodes per ring. So let's go back into X lights. And now there's two circle models here. This is create new wreath. I'm not going to use this one. This one over here is the one I'm going to use, create new circle. I'm going to click one time, click and drag. Now we've got our circle for our wreath. We're going to change the node count to 54 and let's go to layer sizes. Now obviously because they have the equal number of nodes you can do 18 comma 18 comma 18 and we click outside and now we have created our concentric wreath. You cannot do this with the wreath model because it doesn't have the same parameters. It doesn't have this layer size box. So uh, what you'll have to do is you'll have to rename this from circles to uh, wreath if you're you know, using the wreath. So they have different names and they have different purposes. So just be aware that uh, that's how this model is not used for concentric uh, wreaths. So um, if we open this up and let's look at the node layout we can see that node one, string one starts here and it looks like it's on the inside, but I actually think it's on the outside. I think the first node is the top one right here. And it goes from left uh, in a clockwise direction and goes the whole way around. And then whenever it gets to this one here, it, it uh, goes from here over into the center here and continues. And as you can see, let's make this a little bigger so that you can see the full effect. See how it ends at 18. If it's, this looks like a matrix, uh, you, usually you might start move up to here and go backwards, and then up to here and go back uh, forward again. But we're actually this is one continuous circle. So this node is connected to this end here because this is in a circle fashion. So that's how the circle works for the circle model works for concentric. Um, so let's go ahead and save this. And let's put an effect on here. I don't want to do anything fancy here, but let's just create a new sequence, animation, done. And let's put a timing in here. It doesn't matter if they're timings, I guess. 
So uh, I'm going to put uh, I'm going to put the single strand effect on here, and I guess I need to have a model preview. I bet you I don't have anything to default perspective. Let's view windows reset to default. There we go. There we go. How, uh, that's the house preview. Let's go to model preview, and let's do control. It's not. So we've got, we're, we're doing a chase, but I'm going to change the buffer. Where's the buffer? There's the buffer. Let's let's change the render style. And let's make that chase just a little bit bigger. Single strand. This is definitely not set up. Let's get rid of this. Go to layer setting and put this over here. And get rid of this. Okay. That's enough messing around. So let's uh, make the chase size bigger. And let's, let's change the cycle. And now the last thing I want to show you is let's go in here to um, ro uh, the, the buffer. We're going to change the render style so it does it per single line. This will tell us it's starting going from the left to the right. And it's starting on the outside, so I'm I'm going to guess that the outer node, this one here, is actually the first one going. And I believe this is set up for left to right, yeah. So it's starting on the left and it's going inside. So that tells me our layout does start right here, even though it's not as intuitive. The wreath model does work. It just has this on the inside, showing. Oh, well, it looks like it's on the inside, but it's actually on the outside. Uh, not here in the center, like I like my stars in the center, then work outward, uh, I work outward, then inward. So guys, that I hope that helps answer a lot of questions on building concentric stars and circles. I know I've uh, done this video before, but it was the old layout and it, it was n much needed uh, improvement. So if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. And as always, thanks for taking the time to check out the video. Guys, we'll see you in the next one. Oh, and if you like the video, make sure you click the like button. Uh, we'll see you again soon. Thanks. Take care. Bye.